Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD5770 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD5770 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, Dirt 2 DirectX 11 game, one 6-pin power adapter, a Crossfire bridge, as well as a DVI to VGA adapter. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV850 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 1.04 billion transistors. The cooler on this video card is comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. The heatsink has a copper base which comes in direct contact with the GPU and it also has lots of aluminum fins. Now the memory on this side of the video card has a heatsink plate but oddly enough the memory on this side of the video card doesn't. There are four video connections, two DVI, one display port and an HDMI which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Also at the top are the Crossfire bridge connections. This video card requires one 6-pin power cable connection but it's in a very awkward place inside the cooler. When the video card is installed in the case it's difficult to remove the 6-pin power supply connection. The maximum power consumption for this video card is 108 watts at max load and 18 watts at idle. Now this is not a lot of power but I would still recommend a quality brand name power supply that can handle the load especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 850 megahertz and the 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 4.8 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 13.6 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 34 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 76.8 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple and quad GPU scaling and PowerPlay power management technology which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, Avivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Finally, let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. The video card driver sets the fan speed automatically, but it also can be set manually.
In the 5000 series, this video card lies approximately in the middle. It's not low end and it isn't high end, but it does perform really well. It can play all the latest and greatest games, including DirectX 11 games, and it's affordable. Overall though, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.